Hello guys, welcome to my next video. And uh, now I need to mark uh, the entrance to the pocket and make pockets. So first of all, of course, I needed to fold the both uh, front details together, making them absolutely even. And then, and then I can mark um, the entrance to the to the pocket and transfer these marks on another side. Um, uh, normally, like for my size, I would make the entrance 12 to 13 centimeters. Um, but for the for, for bigger size, especially for more thick fabric like cord fabric. I will make it, yeah, I can make it even 16. It's, it may be even 17 centimeters. 17 and up to this one. See? From here, I will make the line uh, one little bit wider. So this little bit lower, not wider, lower, and this, okay. Good. So now I need to transfer these marks on the another side. So I will use my pins, and here I will pin it. You see exactly into the intersection, crossing of these two lines. So here and exactly into the direction of these lines. Then here, straight down. And we'll go the line and the same from this side towards uh, this mark, the same. So then I can turn it, see, on this side. Then I know that this, see, the place where the pins just came out from the other side, just exactly the edge, the finish of the pocket. This, now the lines, okay, here, the same lines, and this is the entrance. I mean, another end of the pocket, okay? Now we remove the marks. Okay. And I will continue this mark, just connecting them. On one side, and on the other side. I also will double check that this is 17 centimeters. Little bit, little bit wider. Like this. Okay, so this point, I need to prepare this detail. I can put this aside and these two parts I will cut <coughs> 20, yeah, 20, 21 centimeters long and the width will be 2 plus another 2 and uh, two more for seam allowances, one on another side and one on another side. Okay, So total will be 6 centimeters. So six, two pieces I will cut, six by 20, 21. 
Soon by 21. And uh, the gray line in these parts need to be located exactly along um, all the lens of the details. And um, actually, what I would suggest you, because of the thickness of fabric, I would suggest you to cut even a little bit wider uh, to leave the width of seam allowances, not one on one, but uh, I will add another one, cent one centimeter in total. So it will be one and a half, one and a half seam allowances because also the fabric, while turning, you see, <clears throat> like folding this part will also take a little bit of the width, entire width. So I don't want to have like very small seam allowances because I will also need to add lining to the seam allowances. So I will actually cut a little bit wider this part. <clears throat> okay, and then I will cut the same details of tracing. I can already see because see this is from the side part of the of the pattern detail. This is exactly this edge goes exactly along um, of the grain line. So what I will do? I will just put it here. And for lining, let me show you. Because the entrance to the pocket, you see, it's not actually straight entrance. If we would have a straight entrance, <clears throat> then we would cut lining just like, like this, no problem. Here, because our entrance is like a like sided, a little bit tilted, we need to create mm, this little bit not enough. So the, the entrance will be right over here, right, so on the side. We plan to, create to, to um, uh, cut our lining in the shape that will go down, see, from here, down, approximately. I mean, it, it also de depends how long you want and how wide you want your pocket, but since this is a big size, this is a male coat, <clears throat> so we want to make it um, bigger. Okay, so after we draw this line, you can also use your baking paper and transfer this mark. So what I will transfer them, uh, I will transfer this, this mark only from the, like you see, bottom, Hope you can see it <laughs> from the bottom line of the entrance to the pocket okay. and all the way down. All the way down. And, and here. Okay. Here. We should actually go from this. Why? Because um, we will cut we will cut the lower so we will not use this line, we will make it wider. We will mark um, we will cut the one detail, this will be lower, like just across of the entrance to the pocket. We will also cut it from the main fabric. See? And this part we will cut from uh, the lining, lining fabric. I will put this detail in the same direction. I need to add uh, also seam allowances.
pigment, I need to cut now a smaller part along of this line. These two details from the lining of the fabric. So to do, I will need to apply a little bit of interfacing on this edge. Okay, so as you can see, I actually attach a little bit wider this interfacing. It will be just, it will be looking better. These two parts, see, I also apply the interfacing, I iron them in half. Uh, the last part what I need to do, I need to mark the line, the width, you see, of the detail. So, one side, another side. Okay. These are the lines, see, that we will need to connect with this line, okay? So, here we can also mark meaning and the end. And here is the same. connect this line with this line, see? And basically, because now I can see that this line goes exactly to this line and this goes to this line, okay? So then, I mark it here, and the same here. See, this line goes here and this line goes here, so into the intersection like I need to fix it. I don't need to pin exactly into intersection but I want to pin them at the same position okay the same on the another side so this is a folding line you see the important moment if you're making this just the first time so we need some reminder so this is the folding line you see we are facing this folding line down and then when we attach it, when we cut the opening, it will be turning, you see, we will turn it up this way, you see? Then the, the folding line will be up. So we need to face it down in the same, see, the same way, connecting this inter intersection, right? The same I will do with the another side, see, then when we cut it, when we turn it, everything will be looking. Okay. And then we need to cut it in the middle, cut it all these layers in the middle, in this shape, see, here, and like this, okay, so 
let me show you. So first, you need to make sure that on the on the right side, so with the with the left hand, I just like opening this um, these two seam allowances. You see, so I'm fixing. I'm, I'm holding fabric uh, like under the seam allowances. See, and uh, so I will I will be cutting only the fabric of the main detail, right? So I will cut it now like that through. And then, in the opposite side, I'm keep uh, I'm keeping um, these um, allowances open. Like as I'm moving, I will keep them open. Okay. And then I go in the middle. All the way here, and then from here, see, sideway, I go straight to the corner to the last stitch. Like this. Be careful not uh, uh, to cut it past the last st st stitch. Okay, here. It is better to cut it, if you're not sure, better to cut it a little bit uh, shorter and then cut it a little bit more if it's needed. Okay, so here I do the same. And then I can take and turn all this. So I just cut it. I just cut it like this, and I turn all of this, all the seam allowances down. You see, inside. See, and the same I will do with this detail inner part I also <clears throat> turn it all inside you see then it will form straight line here exactly along of this marked line so here and the same just need to turn everything and the same it will turn you see it will form here so what I will need to do now, I will iron it. The fabric is pretty thick, so I need to iron this everything. Will form here, there. So I will iron also these seam allowances um, to the top. You see, this seam allowances goes down. If it's too thick, what you can do like for example with this fabric i can cut you see this inner seam allowance very close to the stitching line like uh, three millimeters about uh, away from the st stitching line then i will make this part much thinner see when i turn it this part will be thinner here okay if you're working with a thinner fabric you don't need to do it but with this one i will do this The last step I need to attach the lining, so I take it and I'm ready to pin it. Okay, and so this one, 
goes here and I will attach it to this edge see to this edge and I will attach it in this way okay I will be stitching on this side as close as I can to the stitching line or just on the top of the stitching line just like this from the beginning to the end and I will also pin it be aware that this fabric is very slippery and this fabric has this like kind of fiber in the top so so I definitely advise you to pin these both edges together to avoid uh, any you know slippering during uh, stitching it After attaching, turn it down and iron it one more time to create this beautiful crisp line here. That's it. So what we need to do, we need to connect the edges. Prepare for stitching. So on the inner side, you see already pinned together two sides of the pocket lining. One of the sides is actually main. The tail that we see from the uh, right side you see it's right here so and I pinned this sides you see from the um, actually right side you see I pin it to fix these sides so they're parallel to each other they, they're forming exactly like 90 degrees corners you see so in this position <clears throat> um, I will stitch now just one side of the pocket I mean bottom bottom of the pocket and the top of the um, the uh, I mean the other side of the pocket so three sides one side bottom and another side and while stitching here I will keep these pins in this um, place and I will stitch it see um, I mean I will I will fix this triangle and I will go like this down I will just stitch through this triangle. See, I also pull it a little bit to see where these uh, pins uh, are, this pin and, and other pin. So, see, I pull, I pull it like this, then I can insert it under the presser foot. Also, when coming um, on top of this triangle, I will lift up the presser foot and it will help the sewing machine to go through the same way. Okay. For double stitching. And that's it. Here I can already go. As you can see, I have some unevenness, but I just make it parallel, so it's all the same like distance. All this line has the same distance. Um,
So when I come close to this corner, see, in this moment, we need to pull our fabric, not just to pull it to yourself like, like this, no. We need to form over here the folding line along, you see, of those pin that is inside. On the right side is fixing the corner, the edge uh, side of the pocket, see? So, pull it this way, and then I will direct my stitch and ply. Close to this line. And then I can just put parallel to this uh, folding line. to fix see these things um, on the from the from the inner side so what I will do I will again put it see, see I will fold this fabric along of this like a um, line that um, uh, pin forms then I will fix it from this side, I will pin, I will take this pin out. Mm -hmm. Then, see, I will uh, pull this folding line exactly along, see, of this um, kind of, in continuation of this folding line. And I will stitch it right here, creating a straight line from this beginning to this like folding line, you see. Fixing this triangle over here. One is done. You can see. Then from this side, have this corner fixed. See? Exactly at the corner. See? Exactly this line already stitched. So then I will fix other side. Here, you see? I will fix it and put it under the presser foot and we'll stitch it. And uh, then our pockets from the inside will be looking like this. Uh, we will have one stitching line for connecting both parts of the uh, lining pockets uh, together. And then we will have shorter stitching lines, see, here and here for fixing these triangles, you see, exactly at this position, exactly along of the folding line. Has absolutely straight line, 90 degrees corners on both sides, and it's already stitched see, completely there, and the same on the other side. That's it. So pockets are see, ready. If you wanted to, to stitch top stitching, you can also stitch it here to fix this line, or even here. On the other sides it's all it's totally up to your design to your vision but technically this pocket is ready